Hey guys, I'm going out tonight. Let me make this very obvious that it is date night with my man. It's gonna be a smash-tastic time as I smash food in my face. Well, that part actually makes him nauseous because, well, I'm disgusting. Well, basically here is my outfit and I'm holding this package because this is the main point of the video. We're going to test out this necklace shortener from Amazon. This tiny little thing cost me $35. I don't know if this type of clasp is patented. All I know is that I had a hard time finding it. There's not a lot of other makers, so you don't really have the competitive pricing here. But if it's a small business, we're down to support. I mean, it comes with two. Oh my God, patent pending. Oh, no wonder. Okay. For my birthday, my man got me a solid gold necklace with his name on it because that is exactly what I wanted. Don't blame him. He's not narcissistic. Blame me for being weird and possessive of him being possessive of me. This necklace is darling, but it does hang very long. Sometimes I want it shorter or I want to layer the necklace and I can't. And I also broke the clasp. It was Christmas time. I was wearing this fabulous outfit. The necklace was outside the sweater dress. I'm in his kitchen. I want to strip. I take off the sweater dress and I hear a snap. That clasp was broken. I kind of fixed it with pliers, but honestly, I kind of jacked it up. And if you look real close, it doesn't look too great. I tell you this because how this clips into the necklace chain shortener, it actually then technically does not need your necklace to clasp. So if you have a broken necklace, you can still make it work. So last night ended up being kind of a long, tedious process to the point where I was unsuccessful. I don't have anything really to show you. I made my boyfriend hold my iPhone and he was constantly tapping the screen, just trying to get it to focus. I think I sort of got it exactly where I wanted it to be. And then I realized there was no way I was gonna be able to physically force it over my head to wear. And then I just gave up from there. Like, I don't regret my purchase. Like, I still love these. Gotta love these because there's a patent out on them and these are the only ones that exist. I will say your chain is very secure. As you can hear a snap. And this is before you even put on the security latch. Even though this actually wobbles on you. I want to try again. We're going to pray that I don't double chin the camera. Because I hate that. Even on both sides. Pull it down. And now, not much difference. Now I'm gently pulling. I think for the longevity of the product, I don't think you should be continuously tugging this up and down the chain because I think it will wear away at the rubber. Now let's bring it around town. Ah, there we go. It's been several weeks now since I have been using the extender. Luckily, it doesn't rotate my necklace. I mean, when I wake up, it's rotated, but I have no idea what I do in the night. I think I corkscrew because I'm like burritoed up in the blankets and then they're all over the floor too. So like, okay, during the day of wearing this, I don't have to worry. Only thing though, it does pull on the necklace to make it right up closer to being like a choker. Cause look, I can actually pull this down more. See? And just like more proof, like this is how much it's clipped on. Really not a whole lot. But again, this is how it operates with this specific necklace when the pendant is this specific weight. Overall though, like I'm really happy with it. But because of the added weight, it's got me thinking of how this extender would perform clasped to this bracelet that again, rotates the wrong way because the pendant is too heavy. I am determined to make this work. I usually clasp it on the biggest setting. I'm talking about this as if it's an electronic. And usually I try my best to like use my pinky to hold a little section down where I can reclasp it on the tiniest loop because I have the tiniest wrist. So I guess I will use this side to scoop the chain. Did, did I get it? Okay then, here it is. That looks annoying. Okay, well, I'm committed, especially after how long it took to put on. I can't take it off now. I'm committed to this review video and I wanna see because as much as I'm enjoying the class, this could really level things up. If it works, I don't know, we'll see.
This isn't working. Sad, but not surprised. I mean, I kind of already knew from the get-go it didn't look all that great. I also realized that I didn't clip it properly. As you can see, the chain is pushing out the rubber. Function-wise, yeah, it does work pretty good. I've never had this bracelet rotate on me since. There is sometimes an issue of the plate flipping on me. Heaven forbid I get a tripod. I have you guys balancing on my legs. You can see it's just the plate but it's really supposed to be an engraving with our anniversary. I do recommend that you get it, honestly, sooner rather than later, because it's one of those staple pieces that are just, it's just good to have. I know they come in three different types of metals, even if you just invest in one of them, because oftentimes you actually don't see the extender, it's hidden by your hair. But like, I've been in so many situations where I am shopping for a dinner party or a wedding party, and I seem to get my jewelry last minute, and it's really hard when in those final few hours of packing, your outfit like just doesn't come together. But now with the necklace adjuster, you can shop freely for the best necklace to go with the heart-shaped neckline. I have spent long enough on my bathroom floor. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, the links are down below, and I love you. I mean it. Bye, guys.